So this is the morning after damage report. Things didn't quite work out as planned. We checked underneath at the front axle, the steering, the front end. Everything looked in good condition. Steering worked fine, strong and secure. But when it hit that jump at that speed, it piled drive the front end back a bit, pushing the axle back, causing the body, the sides of the whole body to break off from the floor as you can see right there which then made it appear that the seat lifted higher towards the ceiling so you can imagine if your head was under that shelf it would hit you on the back of the neck and even if it wasn't you would hit that bed contraption that's spring loaded that can easily just be pulled and comes down and of course when you're landing it's going to come down automatically and hit you in the head and give you spinal compression he was hanging on the steering column quite securely. It bent forward but didn't cause any damages to his body. This wheel still is holding air and intact. Back wheels are okay. Motor kept running throughout the ordeal, full throttle, but we quickly shut it off. And from this front view you can see that the body is completely sitting on the ground, about a foot and a half lower than it used to be. And on this side the tire got peeled off the rim and everything bent backwards, body collapsing. Back end was already kind of falling apart, it's more falling apart now. It's definitely sitting on the down slope. That's where the beginning of the jump is. This is the takeoff point. And you can see a gouge in the dirt where the axle bit the dirt and caused that dust cloud. Pug got a full speed run all the way from that highway, half a kilometer, as fast as one of those 360 motorhomes would go to do that jump and that's where he landed. The damage from the rear is when it accidentally went into reverse and hit my dump truck in a tug of war. Now we'll take a peek inside. quite a mess. You can see the different angle where the seat is flat on the floor compared to the angle the body's on because it's separated. There was another passenger sitting here and he was unhurt. Redneck Rickham or Rick sitting in that seat, the passenger seat, had his seat belt on too and he was unhurt just because of this shelf thing. The kitchen came all crashing in and bits flying everywhere. Pug, or his real name, Chris Whitcroft, ran an ad on Kijiji a while back offering to take away a free motorhome if they would donate it to him so he could jump it and make it famous at David's farm. It didn't take that long and he got one actually close to the farm. Completely free 1981 champion motorhome in working condition but bad condition. So last weekend after a little rain he took it up to the field to the jump at 60 kilometers an hour spinning the tires all the way in the mud and jumped it and got like a foot of air underneath the tires in the front end checked it all out afterwards machine seemed to be unfazed and completely fine condition afterwards so we wanted to wait till the next weekend where it was sunny and dry so he could go as fast as it would go and I'm guessing it hit the jump at between 80 and 95 kilometers an hour, but I just don't know. Nobody was looking at speedometers. He's been our recent star jumper. He's jumped his escort car, the highest anybody's ever jumped on the farm. He recently jumped the Honda VTEC Civic on this jump last week, and that jump worked out excellent. So he was a bit overconfident. His uh, success at jumping has made him kind of a mini star at David's farm and he wanted to go over the top and now he's in the hospital with a broken back. No nerve injury, he completely can get better and walk again but looks like he's in the process of having an operation now to fuse some parts of the lower spine or do whatever they do back there to fix your lower back. Someday we knew someone was going to get hurt, but it's been 20 years and up till now nobody has been hurt in a car stunt.